I just turned on my PC and this is what I saw, an error message and it reads, this app can't run on your PC. To find a version of your PC, check with the software publisher. I'm using Windows 10 and this error message pops up every time I turn on my PC. Very annoying, but don't worry, I figured out a way to fix this problem and it's working 100%, in fact, 8,000%. This method will also work for Windows 7 users, Windows 8, 8.1 and even Windows 11. So if this video ends up solving your problem, don't forget to give this video a like. Also click on the subscribe button below and turn on the bell icon so that you will be notified when next we release another video like this one on this channel. Having said that, let's get down to business. All right, so before we discuss how you can solve this problem, I think it's good we know the cause of this problem. If you are running a cracked version of a software on your system and your antivirus end up deleting a file perceived to be a virus in that application, it will not run on your system. You can get this error message or maybe you are running a software meant for a higher version like Windows 10 or Windows um, 7, you have this problem as well. Okay, so to solve this problem, you need to make three tweaks on your PC settings. Number one, you need to check your user account control settings. And secondly, you need to check your lookout security policy settings. So let's take it one by one. So if I go on the search bar on my PC and I type user account, you can see it up here, change user account control settings. So if I click on it, you can see it says notify only. I need to take it to the second level here, which is what the default, okay, notify me only when apps try to make changes to my computer. Take it to the default settings. This is recommended if you use familiar apps and visit familiar website. So make sure your user account control settings, it's set to the second level here, the default setting. Once you do that, click on OK. And click on Yet, OK? So that is the first setting. Now the second setting, is on your local security policy setting. So if I type local security, all right, so local security policy is an application. So if I click on it, it takes me to this window. Let me maximize, okay? Now I'll click on local policies, this little arrow here. So when I click on it, I need to click on security option okay so when i double click on security option i can select any of this option here and i type u on my keyboard so that it takes me to the u section so here you need to make some tweaks on the user account control you can say user account control like up to eight i mean nine of them so first of all this first one that says um, user account control admin approval mode for the built-in administrator. Okay, you can see it's disabled. I need to enable this. So what will I do? I double click on it and I choose enable. I apply and I click OK. First one. Okay, so the second one is the user account allow UI access application to prompt for elevation without using a secure desktop. The second here, the second one here is disabled as well. So I double click on it and I enable it. I apply and I click on OK. That is the second tweak. Now you have the last one, which is the user account control run all administrators in admin approval mode right here is currently enabled so you don't have any problem so if yours is not enabled go and enable it here 
apply and click on OK. So when you do these three things, first of all, the user account control settings should be set to default. And secondly, your local security policy, you need to make these three changes. And when you do that, I assure you, your problem is solved 100%.